<clears throat> right, I've made you live, but if you wish to pause for maybe 20 more seconds just to make sure that it's sort of going through clearly and uninterrupted. Like the lag, I mean. OK, thanks. Welcome, yeah, Susan. I can confirm you're now live. Thanks. Thank you very much. Good morning. Um, welcome to the meeting of the Licensing Committee. Uh, subcommittee, beg your pardon, to consider the application for a premises license of ONT Wines. And I'd just like to welcome Mr. Theo Goff. Can you confirm, Mr. Goff, that you are hearing me OK? Yep, can confirm that. Great Good stuff. Good morning. My name is Joe Hales um, for the moment, and we're just going to go through the protocol of starting this meeting up. Um, members and officers could ask you to maintain your microphones to mute for the moment while we do this and then <clears throat> unmute as you are required to speak. Thank you very much. Um, as I say, my name is Councillor Howes. I'm a member from Melbourne and the other members of the panels present are councillors uh, Anna Bradman and Deborah Roberts. First of all, Ms. Mrs Roberts, may I ask you to introduce yourself, please, and your ward. Thank you, Chairman. Yes, I'm Deborah Roberts. I'm District Councillor for the Foxton Ward. Thank you. And uh, Anna? Thank you, Chairman. I'm uh, Councillor Anna Bradnam for Milton and Waterbeach Ward. OK, so before we, we could proceed any further, we need to uh, formally approve the chairmanship or nominate the chairman for this meeting. May I have nominations for the chair, please? I'd like to nominate Councillor Hales as chairman for this hearing. You are too kind. Thank you very much. Agreed. Thank you very much indeed, Deborah. Right, so as I am now nominated as chair, um, first of all, for anyone listening, including Mr Goff, the application has to come to the licensing committee because the applicant is a family member of a serving councillor, that's Councillor Neil at South Camas District Council, and this is a, a, a process of protocol which is followed for all types of applications such as this. Now, um, <clears throat> there are off also officers mem uh, present, so can I ask our legal advisor to introduce himself please? Good morning, everyone. My name's Paul Weller. I'm the legal advisor for the subcommittee this morning. Thank you. And our licensing officer. Good morning. I'm Jane Jackson and I'm the licensing officer. And um, our clerk. Good morning. I'm Victoria Wallace from Democratic Services and my role here is to keep a note of the proceedings. Thank you. In a moment, I will ask the licensing officer to present their report. I will then invite the applicant to present their case and the subcommittee will then be invited to ask questions of the applicant. Other representations will be then invited from the police and other responsible authorities. Mrs Jackson, I would expect any such representations to be made. Um, we've only got the environmental health officer's representation. Sorry. Thank you. In that case then, May I ask the Environmental Health Officer to introduce herself? Good morning, my name is Suzanne Christie. I'm the Environmental Health Officer for South Cams who commented on this application. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Following representations, members of the subcommittee will be invited to ask questions. Once the discussion has concluded, the hearing will close for the, for the panel to conduct its deliberations in private. At this point, the applicant, legal representative and the licensing officer will leave the hearing and the live stream of the hearing will end. Actually, that should be the licensing officer. I thought. Um, we will leave the hearing and the live stream of the hearing will end. Members of the panel will remain in the meeting and deliberate the written and reach a decision. The panel's legal advisor and clerk will remain with the panel for the deliberations. Following the deliberations, all parties will be notified of the decision in writing and this will be published on the council's website as soon as possible. And apologies for my hiccup there, but I actually think that should be licensing officer, not um already legal representations so that from mr goff thank you very much okay 
Agenda item number two, which is declarations of interest. Do I have any declarations from members? Yes, Chairman. That's Councillor Bradnam. And what would that be? Um, so firstly, I'd like to make the declaration that um, I know Councillor Goff, uh, the applicant's father, but also this application is in my ward, uh, but I come to this matter afresh. But could I also ask that when people speak, because um, the applicant is taking part by telephone, he can't see us. So if we could say who we are before we speak, that would be helpful. Thank you. Marvellous. Councillor Roberts. No declaration, Chairman. Thank you. And then also I have a declaration as I also am familiar with the applicant's uh, father, Councillor Goff. Uh, agenda item number three. Mrs Jackson, would you be willing to present the report, please? Yes, hello. Um, the application to grant a new premises licence for Owen T Wines at Pegasus House, Pembroke Avenue, Waterbeach, CB 259PY was received by the licensing department and sent for consultation on the 5th of October 2020. The requested days and times for opening and the sale of alcohol for consumption off the premises only are Monday to Friday, 9am to 6pm, with Saturday and Sunday closed. The application was sent to all responsible authorities for consultation as part of the licensing application process. Notification of the application was sent to 48 neighbouring properties and the blue notice was correctly displayed and an advert was placed in the Cambridge Evening News. No representations have been received from interesting parties, but a representation was received from Environmental Health. This representation was sent to the applicant who confirmed that he was happy with the conditions the Environmental Officer recommended. Members have the right under the Licensing Act 2003 to determine this application after considering any relevant representations. Members may accept the proposed application as submitted, reject the application, agree the application but impose conditions that promote the relevant licensing objectives. All parties will remain a right of appeal to a magistrate's court after determination of this committee. Thank you. Thank you, Ms Jackson. OK, agenda item number four. This is where the applicant gets the chance to uh, present their case to the panel. Mr Mr Goff. Um, can you still hear me OK? Yep. Thank yep. you very much Good indeed. Um, would you be uh, willing to please uh, give your, your your side of the case? Thanks. Of course. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for for attending and apologies to have put the council through this process again so shortly after the last time. Um, so to give a bit of background, we're a, we're a canned wine company. Um, so we sell canned wine um, and this location, this premises is where we store the products and where we fulfill online orders. Uh, we were previously at Broad Lane in Cottenham but had to move due to COVID circumstances with our previous landlord. Um, and so we're looking for a premises license uh, at Pegasus House to um, yeah, fulfill online orders. So anything out of CBs 1 to 5 and 21 to 25, uh, we use a trusted delivery partner for. Um, they're the only delivery partner we use. So there's one pickup each day from the premises, normally at about two o'clock, Monday to Friday, with no trading over the weekend. Um, and for postcode CB 1 to 5 and 21 to 25, myself or my business partner um, conduct those and we uh, operate a challenge 25 policy on those. So when we actually meet the recipient, um, anyone who looks under 25 will ask for ID and for all orders online um, that are outside of those postcodes, uh, customers have to go through an age verification check that makes sure they're over 18 on the website and then the uh, delivery company is also under instructions to operate a challenge 25 policy um, and we are able to see all instances where, the, where delivery is refused. Thank you. Um, and yeah, 
Yes, I don't know if you've got any other questions, please. Well, I'm, I'm sure uh, uh, members will ask you questions in my view. So if you're, if you're done, I hope I did not interrupt you there. Yeah, no, that's absolutely fine. Fantastic. OK, uh, in that case, agenda item number five is to ask for representations. Ms Jackson, I understand that there are, is only the Environmental Health Officer, Ms Mrs. Christie. Yeah, that's correct. OK, in that case, Ms Christie, would you be able to present your representation, please? Yes, thank you, Councillor Hales. Um, so I commented on the original application um, for Broad Lane Cottenham. So this was um, in addition to the conditions that had already been accepted from the previous application. There were just a couple of um, additional things that um, I suggested would be good to be included in these in this premises license. Um, so they were um, as I read, I reviewed the premises license application, plans, location, plan and history of premises on M3. Um, and I have the following comments. I'm not aware of any records of formal complaints having been made to this department in relation to noise nuisance or the licensable activities at these premises. However, I've reviewed the operating schedule of section 18 of the premises license application. And although many steps have been considered to promote the licensing objectives, my view is that some additional steps, which if incorporated into the premises license conditions, in addition to those stated in section 18 of the application form, would improve the promotion of the licensing objectives. These are um, its environmental health opinion that the inclusion of the following conditions, in addition to those steps already outlined in section 18 of the application form, will assist in promoting the licensing objectives. Under public safety, ensure that an incident log is maintained, which shall include each and every occasion, identifying the date and time where there has been any refusal to sell alcohol and or any antisocial behaviour relating to alcohol sales, including reasons for refusals. This is to be made available upon request to authorised officers of relative of relevant statutory um, organisations. Ensure that all relevant people are appropriately and suitably instructed or trained in relation to the requirements to check persons identification, establishing age, the adopted nationally recognised age restriction policy, not supplying alcohol to intoxicated persons and adhering to legal requirements and under protection of children from harm. Ensure prominent legal, clear and legible information is displayed at all points of sale, indicating that it is an offence to buy or attempt to buy alcohol by or for a person under the age of 18. That's it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Christie. Uh, Mr. Weller, before I, I go to Mr. Goff, uh, those uh, extra conditions or enhanced conditions that Ms. Christie has suggested. Um, is it now proper for me to approach Mr. Goff and ask him if he would accept those additions? I've got no problems with that at all. No. Thank you, Mr. Goff. You heard? Did you hear um, Ms. Christie's uh, pre presentation? I did. Yeah. And um, I'm very I, happy to accept all of those. You are in their entirety, as 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 described. Yeah. Thank you. You're obviously, obviously, you'll get a copy of the updated version of that. I'm I'm sure. Yeah. Is that correct, Ms. Christie? That those those will be added to the. Um, uh, Councillor Hales, I'll defer to the licensing officer on that. I, I do apologise. I'm so sorry. Yes, Ms. Jackson. Suzanne here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, Theo Goff has already confirmed he's happy for those as well. So they'll be added to the conditions of the licence. Fantastic. Thank you very much, um, Ms. Jackson. Are there any other representations? Better check just before we move on. No. Okay. No. Um, in that case. Um, uh, agenda item number seven. Uh, this is where the subcommittee get the opportunity to um, ask Mr. Goff questions. Um, okay, I have two hands. First of all, uh, Councillor Bradnam, followed by Councillor Roberts. Um, where you go? Thank you, Chairman. Um, on uh, pages uh, 25 and 26 of our pack, we've got um, the maps, which were obviously drawn up for the purposes of confirming fire safety. Um, I just wondered, Mr Goff, could you just describe to us how you get to your offices? It's not very obvious how you get in. Uh, yes, I don't have the plans directly in front of me, but there's a there's a door marked. Let me just 
Uh, it's possible that the um, if you went in to a door and turned left, your offices are on the left, are they? Yes, and then there are. So you go down the initial <laughs> corridor, and then there are two. You turn left. Okay. There's the first door, which takes you into the first office, which is yes. where we store the product, and then there's a second door that takes you into our office, which is where so, we. Okay. Have so our in desk. so. So in fact, what is labelled on one of the plans as fire exit is in fact the main entrance to the building. Yes, yes, yeah. that's okay, correct. OK, that's, that's fine. Yeah. And um, that, that's all I wanted to ask. It just wasn't clear to me how you got in. Um, <laughs> no, I have no other problems with that. No other questions. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Councillor Roberts. Thank you very much, Chairman. Uh, good morning, Mr. Goff. Can you just, just doubly confirm to me, because I am reading it here, um, everything that you sell, you send out on a, on a delivery system. Nobody comes to the premises to collect. Is that right? Yeah, that's absolutely correct. There's no collection on site and no consumption on site. There's absolutely no reason for a member of the public to ever need to come into the premises. That's, that's what I needed to know. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, and Chairman. Councillor Bradman. Sorry, one other thing was, um, Mr. Goff, you said that you are you and your partner are responsible for deliveries to CB1 to 5 mm -hmm. and CB21 to 25. Do yeah. you also, uh, I get the impression though, that you also have deliveries to other postcodes that you use uh, a, we do. a preferred carrier for? We do, that's correct. So we use Yodel, um, the company that carry out our national deliveries. Um, so, and they, oh, sorry. So you do that. That's that's the next point I was going to say. So are those deliveries in the local area or are they national? But you're saying those are the national. Okay. Those are national, and then we just cover CBs one to five and twenty one to twenty five ourselves. But all other postcodes is hand, are handled by Yodel. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you, members. Are any more questions? No, thank you, Chairman. No, thank you, Chairman. Right then, uh, Mr. Goff, this is uh, your uh, second opportunity just to sum up if you wish. Um, if you have any questions for us or any other clarification or you just wish to say something else, it's over to you. Thank you. Um, I don't particularly have much to add, but just to say thank you for your time. And um, yeah, if you have any any other questions kind of at a later date or anything, then you know, please feel free to get in touch. Um, I think that Jane has my email and phone number. I'm more than happy to answer any questions or uh, any queries. So thank you very much. That's very kind. Thank you very much indeed. Chairman, sorry, can I just pick up on one thing? Sorry, I meant to ask this before. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, Mr. Goff, we heard at the outset that you, um, when you gave your initial representation, you said sorry for coming before you again, as it were. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, what actually happened at your other premises? Because I remember. So we, yeah, we were previous, previously renting off a company called N&M Wholesale, um, who are an alcohol company based in Cottenham on the yeah. Broad Lane estate. Um, but due to COVID, they actually um, had to had to close up operations and have sold the property. So we, we needed to find a new premises. OK, um, thank you. That explains it. Thank you very much, Mr. Gold. Thank you, Chairman. <laughs> OK, thank you. OK, agenda item number eight. This is the legal advice. This is where I go to the legal officer, Mr Weller, just to check that any 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 for any legal guidance or that he may have. Chairman, there's nothing additional I can add. You've got the application before you. You've got the representation from the Department of Health with the proposed conditions that have been accepted. Clearly, in making your decision, you need to take in mind the licensing objectives. But other than that, and unless there's any specific question, I, I think you can retire and consider. Thank you. Uh, so just to go back to Miss Jackson. Miss Jackson, do you have any other points you'd like to make? No, none at all. Thank you. Thank you. And Miss Christie? No, thank you, Councillor Hales. That's lovely. OK, so agenda nine, number nine, which is the decision making process. So, Mr Goff, this is very much for your, your good self. 
<clears throat> I'd like to thank everyone for attending the hearing today. The panel now retire to consider its decision making in private. For the benefit of any members of the public watching the live stream at this subcommittee meeting, this will now be closed for deliberations to take place in private. The, and the applicant, licensing officers and representatives will all leave the meeting. All parties will be notified of the decision in writing as soon as possible, and this will also be published on the Council's website. So in that case, it leaves me with the uh, unenviable uh, request to Liam, could you please kill the feed? And thank you very much to everybody else who shouldn't be here. Could you please now leave? Mr Goff, thank, thank you. you very much for coming. Miss Jackson, Miss Christie. Thank you. If you would like to leave and Liam when you're done. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Councillor Hales. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank Bye. you. Bye. For this, for this stream, is this completely finished now? You're not coming back in at all? No. Yeah. Only it's right. now yeah. going to be in private now, Liam. Yeah. Okay, cool. Sure. I'll, uh, I'll end this and I'll give you confirmation. Thank you.